Hey guys, welcome to the shop. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button because I'm gonna be coming back with lots more tips and tricks for prop and costume fabrication. Joining me today is... Brittany Ganoza of Ganoza Costuming. And if you guys do not know her, she is a phenomenal painter. Um, and that's one thing, like both of us are pretty well known in the cosplay community for our painting abilities, but we are very, very different in how we paint. Extremely different. <laughs> and that breaks down into our styles. I'm usually very realistic. You do a lot of the cartoony stuff from like Blizzard. And... Yeah, B Borderlands is a huge style for me. And so we've got a new kind of challenge today. Now we're gonna be painting Borderlands Psycho Mask, and I know what you're saying is like, Steve, you already did a video where you painted a Borderlands Psycho Mask, and that's true. The trick today is we're going to switch. I'm going to use her paints and paint in her style, and... I'm going to use his paints and paint in his style, and paint brushes and other things. So this should be pretty interesting because I've not tried to paint like her before. And I've never tried to paint like him before. <laughs> so we're going to walk each other, as well as you guys, through the different paints, brushes, and everything that goes into our processes. Mm -hmm. we got a lot to do, so let's get started. All right, so first off, we have... The paints that I use, which of course, if you guys have watched enough of my videos, I use Liquitex heavy body acrylics, and of course, I have my Carnage cup full of various brushes. And since I'm on the go, I've got my traveler case of this, that, and the other from Joanne Fabrics, <laughs> and my uh, hodgepodge of Americana and folk art, and a, a little bit of Apple Barrel, you know, this, that, and the other paint. Now the big difference between these types of paints is going to be the amount of pigment that's really in them. And that's why Brittany's able to achieve a very watercolory type of a paint job on most yeah. of your props. A very layered um, style of painting. Versus me, I lay down a color and it's laid down. And yep. so it's, it, it's going to be, I'm going to have to do a lot of layers. You're going to have to minimize your layers. That's going to be really weird. So, <laughs> Alright, so here's... Here's you. Uh, uh. Alright, and I think to start off, and we do have reference off to the side over here, so if you catch us like looking over there, that's what it, I've got monitors over here with some Borderlands Psycho Mask from the uh, Borderlands 3 game cover mm -hmm. set up. So I think the biggest thing here is just to kind of dive in a little bit with the paints. Now as far as do you have a brush that you use to start off? If I'm doing a base coat, um, for if this I'm base coating, thing. just something simple, big brush. I'll just do the um, largest area of color first, which would be like the tan to just to start, and then after that we start with the layering. Okay, and so we're doing the and these yeah. have been primed already yep. in a tan camouflage spray paint that I picked up from Lowe's, and so oh, I'm going to be smart. priming with uh, with a large flat brush. Normally I start off with yeah. mop brushes or with uh, some of the, uh, like a half inch filbert brush on okay. there. So, what do you recommend for this one? Uh, when I did mine in the realistic, I did the, I used the filbert brush okay. to fill in. So okay. what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of lay our paints out and we'll kind of cut back and forth to the progress that we've got going on. So what do I start with here? <laughs> So I started with the yeah. unbleached titanium as, oh, as my base coat, and I'm assuming that I'm going to go with the yeah. I figured if I mean, the buttermilk one of these or both, and I'm probably going to actually need to add a little bit of brown to it. Since yeah, that's why I brought everything to just to start. Just go at it. Yeah. All right. Well, my stuff, you know, I, I let the the sculpture show through a lot of times, mm -hmm. and so I keep a lot of the texture. Well, if nothing else, you're going to find out if you like those brushes or those paints, right? Yeah, right? That's the whole thing. Yeah, but I do want to try and do what you're doing. I feel like I'm, I'm doing it wrong already. What am I doing wrong here? Am I supposed to not use water? Uh, I I use water, but I, I don't cover as much. <laughs> but, but... <laughs> oh, no. I mean, would it help to have one of mine down here? Maybe. So you you could see my style. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't have one to go off. Yeah, your but you style. know how I paint. I can I can tell you how I do it. Well, obviously, I could tell you. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is one that I have already painted up. Okay, so this is what we. Sh this is this. 
Like what's showing, that's showing through. So the way that I layered was originally the unbleached titanium and then parchment on top of that. Oh gosh, I didn't realize how little paint I was gonna have to use here. With you, you have to use like I was gonna say, I didn't 10 realize times as much paint. <laughs> this is going to take at least <laughs> two more coats to Well, cover. I, I use, one of my big tools I use at home is a blow dryer. Ah. Yes. Blow dryer in between coats. All right, so I need to go. Ain't nobody and I need, got time. I need for to that. go and grab the hair dryer from the shop downstairs. That would be best. Okay. <laughs> After I get this layer on, I'm gonna go grab the hair dryer. <laughs> Step one complete. Now it's time for 30 more steps. I have a feeling that both of us are just going to kind of resort back to our I know. original painting. Not on purpose, though. Abilities. No, I'm going to teach you. No, it's you. 20, 20 years of painting one way. Yeah, exactly. And I'm just, I want to learn. I want to I wanna be a good little learner. So, so Brittany has informed me that on mine, I have to do the non-metallic metal version of it. So I cannot use an iridescent. Nope, because Brittany don't paint metallics most of the time. <laughs> That's not how we do. All right, so I got yeah, three layers on. That should be that should be about good to start shading on top of. So at this point, I I need to start blocking in where my shadows. Yep. Yep. Are gonna um, go. I would do the the main ones up in up in this area to just to start because these are gonna be the easiest shadows to kind of start with and you like the under the brow maybe like around the sides of the face and stuff like that. But I wouldn't okay. do like those big splotchy pieces yet. I'd probably do those last. Okay, what about for me? Where, where do I go from here? All right, so, I get, so... Do I have to wait for it to dry? Okay. I'm going to dry yours, too. Okay, good idea. Because this layer I normally do, yeah. but uh, next two layers, no water. Okay, no no water, got it. And still with the... Unbleached titanium. This is a cool color. I like this color. Very, very uh, close to my... my uh, buttermilk. Butter, buttermilk. Yes. Well, they have a light buttermilk that's closer, but... <laughs> All right, we're gonna go with uh, light one. cinnamon here. Yeah, that one's like a. This one's like your typical dark brown, and then that one's more like a Ooh. closer to burnt sienna, sort of. Not quite. This is raw sienna. No, he loves his raw sienna. I, I'm sorry, you're right. You raw guys know how much I love my raw, raw sienna. sienna. <laughs> I've heard you talk about color. For colory techniques. How much water are you adding into it? Are you placing it down and then using water to feather it? You're gonna hate this. I know I am. <laughs> Okay, um, so what I do is I take original color and I mix it with new color. If okay. you're going to say shade with dark brown and black, which is what I would go to. Right. Start with original color, add in a little bit of the brown and the black, place it in there, like place it in, and then I kind of, yeah, <laughs> place it in there. Uh huh. <laughs> and then you want to use like a, maybe another brush perhaps to like, well, I can't use Shade that brush. It. Well, yeah, you, you know what I mean. Like, to... Okay, uh, to use it to feather it yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, use it to feather it okay. out. That, that'll that help. Or use original color to shade that in. I'm going to add a little bit of my shader, like, in this area. And you're saying that you shade it in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. you got to do it in semi-small sections oh, too then, because it dries kind of fast and then not put your brushes in my mouth yeah well no i mean it's it's whatever <laughs> if you find that it's hard to paint it because it's drying too fast i do have extender medium if you want to use that it does help you, uh, you only need the teeniest dab so okay yeah for me though i dry brush in with a different paintbrush that's not this one. <laughs> I'm guessing this one was yours. Yeah, that okay. one was mine. Okay. Yep. Um, I mean, you could continue to use that okay. one if you want, or okay. you can get one that's a little more okay. beat up. Okay, and just all so over? Load it, and but you're just highlighting. So at this point, I'm starting oh, just to highlight the, the brows, the okay. forehead, okay. like the nose. Okay. But no water. I noticed you're trying to water that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, okay. All right, just highlighting. Smart. So, what do you do for the uh, the shadows for this? I do the feathering technique. So I'll put the black in, then I'll 
I'll okay. use another brush Okay, with I'm like, please tell me that my shadows weren't supposed to be built in and I didn't realize it. Yep, I'll use water to feather it out, like, oh, bless. like you do. Okay, good. Well, that... That's a thing. <laughs> that's a good thing. Um, how do you teach someone that doesn't understand color theory that they have to know how to use color theory? And that's one of the funniest things is like... It's the hardest part. In... In college, color theory was one of the classes that I disliked I hated it. the most. Like, I don't feel like I use it, but I know I use it every day. I, I think the way that they teach it is not, not just the not way fun. we use it. Maybe it's not not the way we use it. Perhaps I don't. I don't know. I feel if there were more Borderland Psycho masks that we could have painted in color theory, that things would have gone better. I feel like. What if I go get my? Um, oh, this will really help. What if I go get my um, bunny mask that I just painted, and then you can look at that for how I shade? Do it. Okay, I'm gonna do that. So, this is what we're going for. <laughs> the, this is the difference between, uh, if you can tell here, those are the difference between our, our styles right there. He's got a lot more realistic textures, and mine is a lot more extremely bold. <laughs> and there's a lot of different styles <laughs> of shading here, for sure. Um, so yeah, we're trying to, I think Steve needs a little bit of something to go off of, just like I have a little bit of a cheat sheet here. Well, I noticed that with this, with your types of paints, mm. there, there seems to be a lot of, uh, a lot of layering there is. involved. Because like, if I was to take some of that original color and put it back down, it doesn't actually cover... But it does. This layer. It, but it, it, do, it does in the right way. Right. Yeah, yeah. It does it so that there's shading in there. Gotcha. Yeah. So rather than putting the shade over top of it, you're allowing the shade to come through. Kind of. Kind of. Kind of. You're doing a little bit differently than I would do it, but you're you're handling it well. <laughs> am, am I? Is it kind of like like kind of like it's working sorta? It's I haven't done the that. whole thing yet, but. Yes. Okay. So be more. I'm, um, I'm trying. So you're still pressing into it and oh. trying to, to cover okay. versus allowing the sculpture to right. really show through. So it's more of a a dry brush over the surface. Okay. Whereas like me, I'm trying to dry brush and realize that that's not, not happening. Not. And so now I'm like, all right, just add more water. It'll be good. <laughs> I mean, honestly, the way that, that yours is set up, it really does make me think of watercolor. Like... I going back to my watercolor days. Yeah, of, I used to do a, a lot of watercoloring, but I've I've since moved away from u the use of a lot of water in it. Um, but yeah, watercoloring for sure. I used to love doing that. I think I learned a lot just from watercoloring in college. I absolutely sucked at regular paints like acrylics and stuff. We didn't even get into oil, but just. Regular paints, I was not at all interested, and I was terrible at it. But watercolors, I loved. I was the exact opposite. I, I loved my acrylic classes. Mm -hmm. Hated watercolor. Yeah. I just, I, I felt like I couldn't <laughs> control it. With watercolor, you're kind of just supposed to let the shapes happen. You can't just be like, oh, there's paint there, and I didn't want it to be there. You got to kind of go with it. Let the sculpture come through. And I'm like, let these shadows that I put down two layers ago try to come through. You're not supposed to try and let them come through. I don't, I don't even know anymore. I don't even know. <laughs> don't, don't you make fun of me. It's okay, you can make fun of me too. It's like, Brady, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> we're just both going to have very interesting psycho masks when we're done. It's very true. And then at the end, we'll just be like, we're just going to paint the way we want to <laughs> paint it. <laughs> and primer. <laughs> so when you paint a mask... If you were if you were to paint this one exactly like you do to match the box art perfectly, like mm -hmm. how long would that take you? Well, since it's just a mask and it's not an entire gun or something, um, maybe six hours. All right. I put I put in the hours. What I do by no means takes a short amount of time. How long does something like this take you? So the different, yeah, like. I could paint one like this in probably about two, two and a half hours. Yeah. People ask me sometimes how I, how I do certain... First of all, they say, um, so how do you paint? And I'm like, please, yeah. please ask me a, a more precise question. Do you please? have 
Do you have an hour and a half? Because I don't. <laughs> It's like, how about, ask me a specific question and I'll answer, but no, they, they ask if I, uh, people who do know how to paint will ask me if I, if I dry brush and I'm like, no, it's, it's all wet and very time takes consuming forever. and takes a long time, but I mean, there's a reason that people like it. So it's probably because I spend way too long <laughs> painting. Well, I think that's the other thing too, is it, it depends on what we're working on. Yep. You know, I know that with your um, with a lot of your Warcraft builds they're mm -hmm. larger and so they take a lot more time many 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 hours I'll spend I'll spend a, let's just say it took me 700 hours to make a costume which is not out of the, out of the realm of normal for me but um, I'll spend half of that time painting like no joke because I take a lot of I mean I, I take a lot of merit in making sure the paint job makes the whole build look good. Versus like with, um, like with my Theron guard mm -hmm. for TwitchCon, I had to have that thing completely done in two that months. Was, that was insane. And so could not do that. That paint job, the, the type of paint job I do, lent itself to its overall aesthetic. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. So at this point, uh, Brittany and I have figured out that we need to talk to each other about our painting techniques because they're going south quick. Mm -hmm. uh, Brittany is very, very used to having paints where she's layering it up. I'm very used to watering my paints down. The problem with that being these paints don't have a lot of pigment in them already and so the water is really displacing it and it's, uh, it's making everything a little more murky. And these ones are... These ones are so pigmented that you have to use water to make them not as pigmented because he wants me to not fill it in all the cracks like I'm used to doing here. <laughs> and she's looking over there because there's there's a monitor showing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> and so uh, we're we're taking this into consideration and we're going to continue to move on with our paint jobs. We're gonna try. Yeah. It's gonna all move right. forward. So uh, in. She has given me some medium to add to the paint rather than water. And what this will do is it'll it'll make it a little more fluidy without dissipating all of the pigment. Yep. So. Yep. We're gonna try that. All Extender right. Extender medium or blending gel. You just use the teeny tiniest oh. little bit. That that's good. That's good. Okay. This stuff this stuff is enough to last you like forever. <laughs> do do I add the paint to it? Do I add it to the You kinda paint? just do just like dab a little bit. Into the paint. Yeah, you, okay. you can kind of do either, you know, just play with it a little, I would say. All right. just, you don't want to focus on watering it down, though. I, I will try not to use more water. Yes, at, at Defin this point. definitely don't. I pretty much never use water. So I have this, this towel here because I'm constantly wiping off my brush to make sure that I'm not bringing too much paint or too little paint or too much extender or whatever onto and the project. For those of that have watched my previous uh, painting tutorials, you guys know that I have a giant thing of water mm -hmm. and with a gigantic mop That he brushes, probably just so. fills with water. Yes, sure. it's everywhere. It's, it's amazing. Not, not the same at all. <laughs> okay. So we have uh, Scott in the shop as well today. So we've got a whole bunch of maker friends coming over. Mm -hmm. All right, I will say that this blending gel does a little bit better. Okay, see, this is something that I do recommend to people who don't understand my painting as, as much or are used to doing like the dry brushing. I know I know that, man, that there's just such a huge disparity between people who dry brush and people who wet blend. It's just, you understand one or you understand the other and it, it, takes, a lot of, it takes a lot of learning because they're so different. I can see that it is okay. blending better now. Okay, good, good. You don't need a ton of it. I'm sure you right. can tell. Okay. Um, blow dryer. I noticed that I'm starting to work on smaller, smaller sections. sections. Yes, absolutely. Smaller sections. Okay. Is that, is that something? Is that that's probably, right? yeah, that, that's probably good. Um, <gasps> maybe we can, you can probably start going to the highlight layer, at, you know, pretty soon. Of, okay. So uh, how do I? Using parchment. Okay. I, I got some of that on here on accident, so. Okay. Because these look the very close to the same. So is this and lighter? This is lighter. Yes. Okay. And I would use a okay. not uh, separated brush for that. So. Okay. But that's where you want to be really paying attention to just your highlights. So again, okay. 
forehead, brows, cheeks, but it's using a motion that, again, you're allowing all of this you've already painted to show through versus with me trying to replicate yours, I'm trying to build up and go highlights and, and darks next to each other. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be just highlights. Okay, so show me on here. What you so mean. like all of this in through here and especially like you notice that in through the so very the ridge true. yeah it, it's allowing yeah, but you don't do shadows in between no it, it, there are shadows in between so no, i mean like like these ones and stuff yeah so i'll do a whole layer of highlights with the parchment i'll go in and then shade around the brows around the eyes around here and then dry brush over it again with same parchment again right Okay. But I'm not covering it because I still want those shadows to show through. Versus like here, I'm having to place a shadow and then place a highlight next to it to define the shadow. Yeah. All right, so we're taking a five minute break to hop over to the other mask to kind of help out that person because we feel like we need a little bit of help. Again, not our normal painting styles. Yeah, so. I mean, it just has a lot to do with the fact that either one of us have done these painting styles before, and we, ju we just need maybe some more hands-on how-to on some of this. Okay, so <laughs> on um, for Brittany's, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going in with the parchment, and I'm going to be doing dry brushing over all of this to kind of bring out more of the highlights uh, but allowing a lot of this sculptural stuff to still show through. Um, for this, I'm just gonna try and blend things just a little bit more. He he tried to do a lot more watercolor, like obviously he hasn't gotten to this section yet compared to like maybe this over here, but you ju it just needs to focus a little bit more on wet blending the paints and not wet blending with water. It's a really, really big deal just because of that pigmentation thing we talked about earlier. Yeah. I moved the water over here so that I would no longer mess with it. Yeah, but paint, I still need so. water to clean my paintbrushes, but I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be <laughs> a right, bad person so. about it. <laughs> oh, I'm a bad person about it. <laughs> All right, so. I'm gonna be responsible. Five minute timer we got on this thing, so. All right, get started. All right, All right okay, okay. I'll reach over and slap his hand away if he reaches over. <laughs> no. <the floor. laughs> no, no, but he's allowed to with his, just not with this one. All right, black paint. Okay. We got about 30 seconds. No! I've only been doing this for like a minute! <laughs> So everything's been smoothed out. It's not as not uh, fully, but right, but it's not as jagged mm -hmm. as I had some yep. of the different shaded areas. It's as much as I can do in five minutes. <laughs> right. And okay, what'd you do? Through yours, and I did the dry Looks brush. Like you went pretty much over the whole over thing. the entire okay. thing. Right. Yep. So next stage for me would be I assume start building up highlights. Yeah, you can. Here. Well, I mean, this section still isn't. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. You gotta do so, that first. So so pretty rough down here. And then for yeah, you, a little bit. It's going to be uh, doing all the shading areas, okay. so around underneath the uh, the brows, around the eye. Yeah, just paint it in, feather it. It's how I used to do all of them. Um, but I it's just, just now, you need to cut down on time. Right, a if bit. I've got like five or six masks in a row. It's so easy I, I don't have to focus on like trying to get it down in the the crevices because we're going to go over it one more time with the. Right, you actually okay. want to. I mean, bring yeah, it I do out, want it so. to be in the crevices, but I just don't have to focus on like trying to make sure there's white above it because I'm going to be going back over top right. of it. Got it. Okay. Okay, so you just use black. And then you water down? Yep. Okay. I think this one was my paintbrush. I think. I got some of these per your request. That's not mine. Okay. Is it because it's not jacked up enough? No, it's got paint all over the handle. <laughs> <laughs> I think this one's mine. Oh, paint all over the handle. Then this one's yours. Today. Is there a way you can explain on the video to people and this is probably the most impossible thing to explain ever, but like, how it feels. Because I was noticing when you were both working on it, like, and it's probably the most, it's probably the most difficult thing to explain on a video of how to paint is like, there is a way to get that brush stroke to how, how does it like, like Brittany, when you were painting over Steve's mask and you're like, uh -huh. I'm just going a little bit thicker and you could kind of, you could just feel the way the paint moved over it. That you're like, okay, this is the right way. And I still um, always see Steve scrubbing on he, his. Yeah, like, the scrubbing compared to painting. blending, like straight up blending, is a little, it's a little different. It's the difference between um, trying to get that 
to blend with that, or, you know, the light color right next to it. And he's just like, all right, we're going to get these to go together. And I'm just like, no, no, we're going to make it thicker and we're going to lightly push them against each other. You know what I mean? Almost like a jelly kind of consistency to kind of... Just, it's just flow. All, yes, a lot more flow. Like yeah. he likes because he's doing it dry. You have to put more into it, and because I do it with more wet, you don't. You just. But when do I get to go in and actually start uh, <laughs> doing all my cell shading? Cell shading is last. <laughs> <laughs> the very last thing. I mean, am I almost there? I feel like you are. You get. You're getting really close. I mean, you still have to do all the other sections. Mm-hmm. But you want it. You want some. You want a, the feeling of getting yeah, something like, done. So the like black lines make the, you feel like you did something. Doing the cell shading, yeah, yes. kind of ties the a Borderlands creation it's true. all together. People don't realize that, that 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 plain look is like pretty damn close to being done. As soon as you put them black lines on it, that that's it. Personally, I've um, doing the more um, cartoony style has made my work kind of stand out, I guess. Um, People recognize it because of the painting style that I do, that it brings kind of like that mini painting into cosplay. I need to black this. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Uh, I'm doing my, I'm doing my non-metallic metals. You are? Ugh. Okay, so I have based out all the black on this little guy. Um, so the reason we do, well, I'm sure you would know from watching any of other Steve's videos, is that you want to put black down before you put silver over top of it. The, sil- the black really makes the silver really pop once you get it in, get it on there. I'm not sure how to do this because I'm not going to lie, I don't do s- any metallics very often at all. So it's going to be a thing. <laughs> and I'm at to the point where I've done the blending technique that Brittany is known for. And I've done the non-metallic metals here around the front, so none of this has any iridescence or any of the the different sheens to it. This is all different layers of paint. So now I'm going to go in, I'm going to take a little stencil that I had created for my vault symbol. Yeah, I'll probably do that too. And start uh, blocking that out. I think I'm doing it. You're doing it! You're doing it, Peter! You ever seen the movie Hook? Yeah, I've seen Hook. Thank you. It's my favorite. I know where it was coming from. Second Star of the Rights, right on some more. It's my favorite movie, by the way. Of all time? Of all time. I've just, I've decided. Like your favorite movie of all time is is Hook. I know. It's stupid. I know. But I love it. I want to use water so bad. Am I supposed to be using water? Nope. Okay. I didn't think so. No water is on metallics. So hard to tell. Okay. No water on metallics, apparently. So where where are you at? I, I've got my I feel symbol. Like I've, I feel like I've done some I've done some pretty good things recently. It's that thing where I have it happen a lot of times with cosplay too. It's like you get to a point where you're just like, this is either gonna go good or bad. Like you get to that point of, yeah. ugh. But that extra like that last ten percent is what what really drives puts the it whole thing to where it needs. So you're like, right now like this is kind of like yeah. But I know that once I finish this and I put yep. the black lines on it, yep. it'll be okay. It'll be pretty. It'll not be just okay. okay. Not just okay. It's gonna. It'll be. It's gonna be pretty nice. Good enough for cosplay. Good enough for cosplay for sure. So you would base that in black first. Yes, because. Okay. The way that I do it, if you notice here, the whole yeah. thing's black, and then I dry brush the orange over the top. Do you do it a couple of times? Yes. Okay. Uh, but I use a cadmium orange, so it is a higher pigment. You need to just not have it so thin. You need to glob it on. <laughs> glob it on. Really glob it's it just, on. <laughs> like, no, like, like this paint is not supposed to be this thick. But it is. <laughs> I know it is. No, that is definitely an old bottle for sure. It's not supposed to be. So, okay. Brittany doesn't just paint orange on like oh, a, right? shadows, yeah, she yeah. has to do every color every known facet. to man, yeah, yeah. so. <laughs> That's amazing though. Is, it's looking mixing. good though. Oh, yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. I think it's done. I think we, we thought about trying I think, to attempt I think, something like yeah. You think yeah. the orange is done? I think the orange is good enough. Okay. I think it's cell shading time. Okay. It's time. I can't believe you do this like this. 
I can't believe you do this like this. <laughs> <laughs> Your mess take forever. This is a mess. <laughs> That's great. All right, Brittany has given me authorization to use the Mars Black to do all my lines. Which work is just lines. One. Black is black as far as I'm concerned when it comes to paint. So it's it's whatever. It's only because I forgot my paint. And I live six hours away, and I wasn't about to go to the store. I want to feel special. Can I wear your hat? Alright guys, well you can see that we painted our psycho masks in each other's respective styles. Yeah. It was, it was an experience. It was definitely difficult. I did not expect the things that I had to do. I will say that I think both of us learned a lot about each other's techniques, each other's mediums. True. Even though we both paint, we, yeah. we use completely different paints, completely different techniques. I mean this was this was a cool it was a cool it was a cool experience. I don't know that I'm ever going to paint like you ever again, but... Yeah. I mean, I feel like I learned a couple of things. I could have probably spent more time on it, but Steve had to spend four hours doing something that he... Man. Ugh. I think it looks great. Non-metallic metals. Yeah, he did it. And metallic metals, <laughs> which I did in a very short amount of time. <laughs> so hopefully you guys enjoyed some of this and hopefully you can glean some information from it. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. And be sure to follow Brittany. I'll, of course, have links for her stuff over in the description section. And for you guys, again, if you're new to this channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and come back again. And, yeah, I think we're going to call it a wrap for that. Yeah, long so, day. Borderlands 3. <laughs> Borderlands 3. <laughs>